Here's a quick video to get you started using gmail.com. G-M-A-I-L dot C-O-M. And Gmail is probably one of the easiest ways to get started using um, for email. Gmail is one of the easiest ways to get started uh, to have your own personal uh, yet somewhat professional looking email system. If you're trying to get rid of AOL, if you're trying to get out of a, uh, a Hotmail or Yahoo or CompuServe or any of those older, less flexible email systems, then Gmail is the best way to go. G-M-A-I-L dot com. Not only can you get to Gmail through any web browser anywhere in the world, but you can also very easily uh, connect your Gmail account to your Android phone as well as to your iPhone so you get your Gmail on your mobile devices and your tablets. I really encourage you if you want to use a, a really stable, secure, um, highly functional, if you want all that functionality, email system, then gmail.com is the way to go. And in this series of videos that I'm going to create, I'm going to show you in very simple and short videos how not only to set up your Gmail account, but how to do all the different things that you may want to do with your Gmail account. But it all starts with, very simply, going to gmail.com. And if you've never been there before, it's going to land you on this page and you create an account. So it's really easy to create your Google account from this page. You put your first name. I recommend putting it in proper format. You put your last name. You pick an username. And your username, in essence, becomes your email address when it does, in this case, lburris at gmail.com. And then you put a password. And I recommend it be something at least eight characters, the mix of letters, numbers, and symbols. Um, and, and then you'll type the same thing over here to confirm it and make sure you know what it is. Make it sure it's something you can remember, but it's not easy. Make sure it's something you can remember, but not easy for others to figure out. And then once you do that, then you hit next. And when you hit next, if that username is already being used, then you can't use it. So you have to adjust the username. And then you can try next again, and you see that's still being used. So then you might have to do something a little bit different to, in order to get to the next step. Google's going to want to verify. You put a phone number in here so that you can, uh, this is for security purposes. So I recommend you put a, and it's going to send a text message to this phone number to verify that you're a real person with their and it's going to send you a text message. It's going to start with G dash and then some numbers. We put those numbers in here and then verify. And now if it if you if you have another email address to connect it to in case you can't get into this one then put that there. Oh, this is not optional. This is trying to verify that you're a real person. But male or female or rather not say. And then hit next. Then they're going to let you know that you can bring that phone number uh, into your Google account. You do not need to do this. Let me repeat. Get more from your number. They want to bring that phone number into your account. Skip that. Read the privacy and the terms. I recommend you, if you've never been here, you at least scan through this and read it. I have. And that is all you need to do to get started using email. Now you can hit next, choose a default view, and there's your blank, empty email ready for you to start using it. Gmail is going to start prompting you, wants you to choose some things and set it all up. All of this is interesting and could be useful, but is not mandatory for you to get started. I could just hit this little X right here. And, I, and if I want to resume it, it tells me to go to the sprocket and I can resume it. But I can right now just give, go to my email and there's Andy saying hi. It's all it takes to set up your Gmail account. All the rest of the videos will guide you through the use.